Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now that we have understood what symmetry is all about, let us now talk about different types of symmetry. So the simplest type of symmetry is line symmetry. So a figure has a line symmetry if there exists a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure coincides. So let us take an example. So let us take the example of this circular sheet of paper. So you take this sheet of paper. Now in this sheet of paper, if you draw a line exactly at, at the center of the paper, let's say like this. So if you draw a line like this and then if you fold this paper along this line, what happens? You see that these, this half and this half, these two halves, they being exactly identical, they completely coincide with each other. Something like this. If these are the two halves of the sheet of paper, so we see that one half and the second half, both of them are so much identical that they can exactly coincide with each other. Let us look at another example of butterfly. So as I said, that butterfly has a very beautiful symmetry. So just look at this. So this half of the butterfly, this half and this half of the butterfly. So they are exactly similar. Now imagine that this butterfly is being drawn on a sheet of paper. This is not a real butterfly, but a drawing on a sheet of paper. So if you draw a line here, and then if you try to fold the paper from here so what do you see that this half and this half they exactly cover each other completely you do not see them separately so that means the butterfly also has a line symmetry so why this is called line symmetry because in this case we see that there always exists a line about which you can that th there exists one line which divides that figure into two identical halves so that is why it is called line symmetry. Now, when we talk about line symmetry, we see a very interesting thing that in line symmetry, reflection happens. So th there is a role of reflection in line symmetry. How? Okay. So whenever an object or a figure has line symmetry, it is observed that one half of the figure is mirror image of the other half because we say that one half is identical to the other half. So a better way to uh, say how they are identical is that they are mirror image of each other. So let us take this example. Even before we talk about reflection symmetry, let us understand the meaning of mirror image. So how do you see yourself when you stand in front of a mirror? So have you seen that uh, if you lift your right hand in front of the mirror, on the mirror you see your left hand going up, right? So that, that is lateral inversion in a mirror. So in, in fact, this, these are some examples of mirror image. So you see in the first image, the duck, this is the real duck and this is its image in water. And how do they look like? See, the bottom part is here of the real duck. But in this case, the bottom part, in the image, the bottom part is on the top and the top part is at the bottom. So that is how, that, that's an inversion that happens whenever image is formed on the mirror. Similarly, in this case, you see, this is the real tree and the top portion of the real tree, when its image is formed, the image, in the image, the top portion is at the bottom. So that's the beauty of mirror image. So in line symmetry, also exactly the same concept happens. So you want to prove that line symmetry is like reflection symmetry so do one thing you take a sheet of paper where a butterfly is drawn now you take a mirror place the mirror exactly along this line of the butterfly so that means you are actually covering half of the butterfly so you are only able to see this much half part half portion of the butterfly is seen on the paper but what you observe is the image of this portion of the butterfly is seen on the mirror and the other part is seen in such a way that it completes the butterfly. So basically that part of the butterfly which is actually being hidden by placing the mirror, the same portion is actually formed as a mirror image on the mirror. So did you get my point? So try to do this experiment right now when you are 
uh, looking at this video at the same time take a small mirror if you have it at your home place it on a sheet of paper and on that sheet of paper even if you cannot draw a butterfly you draw anything maybe a circle or a square you draw at, or draw it and place the mirror exactly along the line of symmetry like in this case this is the line of symmetry this is exactly like half piece of the butterfly so place the mirror here so you will be able to see the remaining half of the butterfly which proves that the two halves so whenever we talk about symmetry we talk about two identical halves so basically this proves that the two identical halves are actually mirror images of each other yeah okay so that that's the relationship between line symmetry and reflection symmetry so line symmetry is nothing but a, a sort of reflection symmetry because in line symmetry one half of the image is mirror image of the other half and in this fashion the entire butterfly is formed so what is this line called this line is the one is the line which actually divides the two identical halves or which divides the two halves which are mirror image of each other so this line is called line of symmetry So to be more precise, what is line of symmetry? It is that line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. Now, see, you, you must understand that there, there is always a specific line of symmetry for a particular object. Now, there could be one line of symmetry, there could be multiple lines of symmetry depending upon the shape of the object. But there has to be some specified lines of symmetry. Otherwise, you cannot see symmetry about all the lines. So, let us look at this example. So, what do you see on the screen? You see a square. So, we know that square is a polygon or a parallelogram with four sides where all the four sides are equal all the four angles are equal so in a square the length of the sides are equal also the length of also the measurement of the angles are also equal each angle is equal to 90 degrees so let us think of this line so when you look at this line what do you see you see that this line divides the square into two equal identical halves which are mirror images of each other so when you think of the two equal halves of the square along this line what are those two equal halves these are the two equal halves now how do you know they are mirror images if you want to really understand place a mirror here exactly here if you place a mirror you will be able to see the image of this part on the mirror and the image would be exactly like this so that would prove that these two halves are mirror images of each other so this is one possible line of symmetry for this square let us look at another line when you look at this line what happens it again divides the square into two equal halves and these are the two halves again these two halves are also mirror images of each other that means this is also a line of symmetry think of this line so this is a little different than the previous two so what do you think how does it divides the square so it, again it divides the square into two equal identical halves and again in this case also they are mirror images of each other That means when you fold one and place it over the other, they both will exactly coincide with each other. In a similar, so all these lines, these are all called axis of symmetry. So a line of symmetry is also known as axis of symmetry. So when you look at the square, you saw that the single figure or a single object which is maybe in the shape of a square it has multiple lines of symmetry we already saw three lines of symmetry in fact there exists one more line of symmetry so if you have a diagonal like this again it divides it into two equal halves which are mirror images so we saw that all in all there are four lines of symmetry which exists for a square now again that doesn't mean that every object or every figure will have four or five lines of symmetry so that totally depends on the shape and size or dimensions of that particular object but yes whenever we talk about symmetry if an object has line symmetry then there has to be at least one line of symmetry minimum now, 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.